Up in the wilds of northwestern Maine, the Allagash Railway plies its daily trade, hauling forest products, paper, coal, grain, lumber, and other heavy tonnage. Operating through spectacular scenery and with a roster of veteran EMD and ALCO locomotives, the Allagash has become a destination of rail fans from all over the U.S. In this video series, we will closely examine Allagash operations, visiting much of the scenic state of Maine in the process. In Volume 1, we'll spend a day trackside at New Sharon with the New Sharon Switcher. Powered by one of the railroad's original GP9s, the New Sharon Switcher spends most of its day working the New Sharon Yard and switching local customers, like Franklin County Feeds. Also witness the daily road trains on the AGR's Kennebec subdivision, including some that work New Sharon to set out and pick up cars for the local industries. The locomotives are varied and interesting, including Alcos from Allagash and Delaware and Hudson. Join us trackside for Volume 1 of the Allagash Railfan video series. It's a show you won't want to miss. Volume 2 will follow coal trains over the Allagash. We'll start with a loaded coal train on the Kennebec subdivision at New Sharon Yard, and we'll make a quick stop at the Division Point Yard at Madrid before we head on to the Androscoggin subdivision where many scenic highlights are encountered. The train crosses the Sandy River and then passes through classic small town Maine at Weld in Carthage. Northbound trains thread the deep rock cut at Holman Summit and then snake through forests, passing old farms, following rivers and crossing bridges as they make their way across this scenic section of railroad. Don't miss the excitement and the drama of big time railroading as we chase coal trains in Volume 2 of the Allagash Railfan video series. To purchase the Allagash Railfan video series and other videos, books, ebooks, calendars, and other products, please visit the Model Railroad Hobbyist store at store.mrhmag.com.